Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a gradient and how to apply that gradient to an object in Blender. I have created my scene and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on shading at the top. So when you click on that, you should have your shading here. If you don't see the shading right here, what you are going to do is that you will need to click on new right here. It should have a, like a bottom there that says new. So you just want to click on it and it should show you this shading here so this is our principal bsdf shading and what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to click on add and i'm going to click on search and i'm going to type in ramp so r a m p then click on the color ramp and place it anywhere so i'm going to place it here then we are going to click on search and i'm going to search for coordinates so you see when you type in coordinate so it's going to show you the texture coordinate so i'm going to place my coordinate right here to the left of the color ramp all right so now i have my color ramp here and what i'll need to do is that i'll need to basically connect this color of the color ramp to the base color so i'm going to click on the yellow dot and i'm going to connect it to the other one so now you'll notice that it has added some shade there and even if I change this one you know it's not applying this gradient to my object. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to basically where it says generated right here I'm going to connect it with this one with my color ramp and if I do that you'll notice that there is my gradient so it has appeared right there. You see it? So I'm going to move it up a little bit and I'm going to basically change this color. So this one, as you notice, it's black and white. But if you click on the pointers and if you click on the horizontal color, you can just change the value and move it up so you can see all of the colors. And I'm going to change this one to red and I'm going to change the white color to another one. So I'm going to change this one to green and now uh, let's say that you want to add more colors you can basically click on plus and it will add more pointers here I'm going to add three more so I'm going to click on this horizontal color and I'm going to change it to this color maybe and this one so you click on the pointer and then you come to the horizontal color and you click on it and you should see the color wheel and I'm going to change this one to something bluish, baby blue. This one is too red. So this is what we have created. So you can also change the mode of the gradient by clicking on the linear, then change it to cardinal or something else. B spline, for example. Um, yeah, so this is what we have so far. So let's click on the shading render and let's see how it looks. So now, uh, here's how it looks, but if we uh, maybe move the light over here. So we have moved the light above it. So, yeah, this is how it looks, all right? So this is basically it. So now, for example, let's say that I'm going to add a sphere here. Shift A, let me add an ecosphere. I'm going to place it over here, set it to smooth. And now let's say that I want to apply this gradient to this object. So what you will need to do is that basically you will need to uh, select the texture coordinate and the color ramp. Then you press Ctrl C or Command C on Mac to copy them. So then you select the other object. Then you click on New. So it will create a shader for that object. Then press Ctrl Control V or Command V to paste them here and then all you need to do now is to connect this color with the other base color. So now we have connected it to the other object too. Alright, this is basically it and I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions you can always leave them in the comments below. So thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you all in the next video.